it's your girl Jay here um hope you enjoyed the little video the short video yesterday I don't know if it was short to me um, but here are some of my tips for do's and don'ts of online dating first make sure that you check out the site that you decide to go on whether it could be tinder plenty of fish blackpeoplemeet.com match um our time whatever it is okay because i'm gonna tell you everybody on these websites ain't who they is and they be lying and uh you just need to be checking things out okay and you need to make sure that um these sites have access to video chat and a alternative phone number for you so that you're not giving out your personal information on a website okay because you already gotta give all your stuff out to pay for it and do all whatever whatever but you don't want you know crazy people continuing to call you if you don't want to because they got your phone number because you know you lonely and you want to give out your phone number so you know here we go but i ain't trying to go there i ain't trying to go there okay so i don't want to be having to block nobody i want to do nothing so tinder has video chat they have a phone number that you can give out access to so that you're not using your own phone number okay and no this is not sponsored but i am trying a different app i've been on the other ones and uh yeah, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And what did I do before I got on these? I made sure my plate was clean. Okay? That doesn't mean that I wasn't dating other people, but my plate is clean as far as I am ready. I know I'm ready. Okay? I've been ready for quite some time. Before, I thought I was ready and I wasn't ready because I didn't have everything in order and I didn't get it ready. So, now I'm ready. Okay? I'm ready. So, I had to close the door to all those other videos and things that y'all saw or people that we talked about. Option number one, option number two, uh, blackpeoplemeet.com, all that, all that drama. Your girl let it go. She let it go. Let's go. Okay, so now I'm back in the clear now and I'm ready. Okay? And um, I don't know, hopefully, you know, <laughs> people say, how can you be ready already? Because I know what I want. Okay? I know what I want. And I've been talking to the most high. And he know my every need and desire. And he gonna give it to me. Because he said he did. He said he would. He did, he would. He said he could. He will. <laughs> so, so with that said, I am putting my faith in that. That I'm opening my heart up. I have a list, but it is not the teardown list. It is the list of dating with intentions to marry. Okay, what I mean by that is there are like five things on my list that I think a person should have in my life. I can only speak for me. I can't speak for all of y'all. I can only speak for me. And so what my number one thing is you have to believe and live a lifestyle that reflects God. Number one. Number one, that means living, not only just saying, but living and walking in it. And that don't mean you got to be all holy out there, all crystal, Lord, always on your knees praying. It means that if you follow God and you know what his intentions are for your life, then you know what the guidelines are for a wife and you are seeking someone and you have intentions upon marrying someone. So you are that type of man that I desire. Okay? You ain't perfect. I ain't perfect. But you out there. Okay? So those are some things that's number one on my list. Number two on my list, you gotta have a job. Okay? And you gotta be going to work. Okay? <laughs> you could be an entrepreneur. You could be that too. Okay? So if you that good, 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 be ready to prove yourself. Okay? Um, yep, gotta have a car. Mm -hmm. Three, gotta have a car. Okay, because your girl ain't getting on the bus. She ain't cabin it. She ain't doing none of that. Okay, gotta have your own car. I think a man should have his own car. Now, a woman, on the other hand, she might not have to have a car. But a man, he should have his own car. Okay, um, and then, not last but least, but the most important, out of serving God, he should have his own Place. I feel like whatever you bring into the table, he should be bringing it to the table too, or bringing more. That's just me. Okay, y'all may call me crazy if you want to, but oh well, that's just me. 
All right? Because I feel like, look, if you can come over my house, I want to come over your house. If you can get in my car, I want to get in your car. Okay? Those are the things. You go to church, I want to go to your church, and then you come to my church, and maybe we decide later on down the road if we make that decision of who church we're going to go to. But they both going to be of the same belief, because I ain't trying to learn nothing different but believing in God. Okay? And that don't mean Christianity, that don't mean uh, Judaism, that don't mean, mean Muslim, that don't mean none of those titles that carry religious beliefs. Mine is just a belief in God. So understand that, people. I'm not following the religion. There are things that I do that reflect Christ, okay? But I don't live my life in a religious way. The only thing that's religious about my belief is making sure that I am continuing to serve God in all ways, shapes, and forms, okay? All right, so that's what I mean by um, sharing my belief. I don't mean, the, you know, religion. So if I step on your toes because I'm saying, you know, you're a Christian and you ain't, no. Because all y'all Christians ain't right either. All y'all Muslims ain't right. All y'all Judaisms ain't right. All y'all Catholics, all y'all Lutherans, everybody got their issues and everybody got their problems and everybody got what they want to believe in and strip it down, break it down, rub it down, smack it down, do whatever they want to do with it. So all I'm saying is I believe in the one who's been taking care of me because I know who he is. So you better know who he is. Anyway, back to um, those are my five things. Okay, and then uh, when you're on the site, Make sure, like I said, they got video chat, all that stuff available to you. Um, and make sure that the person find you. Okay? Because you might see some people you like. Don't like them. Okay? Um, let's see. What else I want to say? You uh, let, let them find you. Because the Bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing. But that don't mean you can't be on there. So you can be found. <laughs> It don't mean that you always got to be walking in the store or you got to be grocery shopping or you got to be shopping that you're going to find your man because he is definitely not just going to knock on your door unless he is the single uh, UPS man or the FedEx man. It's the only way somebody really knocking on your door is if he's delivering some packages or some mail. Maybe. He might be the one. Who knows? But I'm going to say this. He is not going to knock on my door. Knock, knock, knock. Judy, I'm here. God sent me just for you. Really? <laughs> anyway, back to the video. Um, back to the tips. Okay, y'all. So, um, with that said, um, my other things are make sure you're safe. So, uh, like I said, don't give out your phone number. Use the phone number of the site so that you're having a conversation. So, make sure you're having the phone conversation. And let him call you. Let him be the ones with the intentions, ladies. You've been waiting all this time with the what? Waiting a few doggone more minutes. What? You gonna be okay? All right. He gonna call if it's meant for him to call. He gonna call. Okay. So I'm being patient with that as well. Do y'all with? Um. I don't really want to, you know, um, persuade y'all to do what I'm doing. But I'm just saying this is what I'm doing now. Um, because y'all know what I went through and I had to cut every last one of them off because I don't want to waste their time. That's another thing. Don't waste their time and don't let them waste your time if you know that they're not going down the same road you're going at a specific time or whatever have you because I am talking about women who may be 50 plus and up, okay? But if y'all young and you out there listening, listen up, okay? Anyway... Uh, what I'm saying is, I have also decided to try to date men 50 and up. Not that saying that they're more mature. I'm just saying. I'm going to step up out of the 40s and get into my 50s. Where I'm at. Okay? So, uh, and see what I get out of there. I have come across men who've been, you know, in that age back in they fools too. So, anyway, with that said... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to trust in the Lord that he gives me the desires of my heart because he knows my heart. Okay. He knows my intentions. He knows what I like. He knows more than I will ever know. So I am going to depend on him, but I'm still going to put some things in action as well. Because faith without works is dead, y'all. You got to do some work either way, y'all. You got to do some work either way. So... Um, yeah, so with that said, I didn't have a lot of them, but I'm just saying, and when you get on the, when you, when you finally get to the point 
Were you making that date after talking for talk for a while? Talk. Folks be lying, y'all. Talk. Okay. Um, and I ain't only talking about men. Women do it too. They lie too. So if there's some men out there watching this video, women lie too. So y'all be careful too, okay? Because I know I have a, a nice amount of men who watch my channel. So I'm just saying, this could work both ways. You know, you do the same thing. Date with intentions, okay? Um, what else I'm saying? Try to date maybe one, two, three at a time, maybe. Uh, just so you have some options. Yeah, I said it. One, two, three at a time. You ain't got to be on lockdown with one, and then you're wasting all that time, and then you get two, then you go waste that time. You could be dating all three of them, gather all your information, and then start, you know, making your decisions. Okay? And, uh, yeah. And, let's see, what else? Um, don't um, write them off if they don't have some of the things on your list. The top five is a must. Whatever your top five may be. But other things like, you know, uh, he don't dress right. Oh, he don't cut his hair. Oh, he don't wear cologne. Uh, oh, uh, whatever. Those things can be changed. <laughs> okay? You can groom a man. Trust me, I've done it. And he lost his man. So, uh, yeah, that can happen. Um, yeah, what else? Um... Just make sure you're having those honest conversations. And if he's a mature person or she, mature person, then you will have those deeper conversations. Um, I've been reading books about the five love languages. That's a good book to read. I've been reading The Man God Has For You and Relationship Goals. Um, those are books I've been reading. So, you know, I'm in the mindset. I'm putting myself in the mindset. I'm searching and I'm looking for the good advice that I can get from other people that believe like I believe. Um, not saying that they, it's gospel, but I am, um, you know, taking into heed what they're saying. And it has um, opened up my mind and my heart a lot. So read, people, read. Okay, get you some books and stuff and read and figure out, you know, some things. Um, there's always something in there that you can get from it. So um, what else I want to say? Hmm. If you finally get to the point where you get to the date, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Don't have nobody pick you up. You say, Jay, well, what if I don't have no car? Well, girl, you better get you an Uber, yellow cab, green cab, Lyft, or a friend. And I also will tell you to put your phone on Google Maps and get somebody that you trust to have them have your locator on so you can show them your location of where you are when you're going where you're going even though you're not driving with that person and they're not picking you up it's good to know where you are that one person that you trust or two that you know hey if you're catching the bus to get there whatever have you you know you make sure you, girl look um, come get me this a fool whatever they know where you at okay um what else i want to say um don't forget to speak your mind, but, you know, be gentle at first. <laughs> and don't give all your business out. I learned the hard way, y'all. Do not give a person the roadmap to how to fall for you. Because they will use it to get them draws. I've had it happen and then go ghost. This happened, y'all. It was like, girl, what do you want? What do you like? What do you, what do you, what's your favorite song? What's your favorite this? What's this, that? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite flower? I was like, oh, he, he just want to know everything about me. Oh, I am so excited about this man. He just all into me. Girl, he was trying to get my draws. Okay. Don't get nobody the roadmap. Don't get nobody the roadmap. If they have intentions for you, they will ask the right questions and they will get the right information. Okay? Only roadmap you need to give him is what kind of diamond you want. When he pop that question. <laughs> you might not have to do that if you pay attention. <laughs> A good one will pay attention because that's what I have learned to do. Even though I've been married twice, I have paid attention to the men in my life and that's how I learned them. They didn't have to say much to me. Even the guys that I dated, they didn't have to say much. I paid attention. 
Mm-hmm. And they didn't know I was paying attention. I wasn't being nosy. I was paying attention. Because, girl, you will meet the representative within the first year. Okay? The first year. They can hold on, too, for a long time. Male or female. All right? So, I say give yourself some time. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not onto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. And that could be in anything. Okay? So I hope this video was helpful to you today. If there's anything else that you feel like I missed, um, put it in the comments below. If I can answer it for you, I will. I'll keep you guys updated on how it's going for me. Uh, I haven't um, had a conversation yet, nor have I went on a date yet. I just signed up, so we'll see what happens. But I will keep you guys posted. We are back on the dating vlog. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video. Happy Thursday, and I'll talk to you again later on, family. Um, see you in the next video.